Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Safari and OS X El Capitan. Now Apple have added a few new features to Safari just to make the browsing experience better. And I'm just going to be going over those in this video. So, first of all I'm just going to open up Safari. I've got a few tabs running already. I've got the OS X El Capitan official Apple website. I've got my YouTube channel open. I've got the BBC News page open. And I've got the Weather Channel website opened up. So first of all I'm going to take a look at pin sites. Now with pin sites what this allows you to do is if there there is a certain tab that you use a lot so say here if I use BBC News a lot if I want to I can pin this tab. Now the way this works is if I simply just um, click and drag this all the way to the end oh, and then just push it all the way and as you can see it has this little icon thumbnail of the website, I just let go as you can see this is now a thumbnail here now the way the pin sites work are yeah, sorry, is that they are always open so this is essentially a tab that's open in the background so if I click on that obviously I'm on it right now, if I go over here to my YouTube channel obviously I can see that, however I can just go back to this um, BBC News tab and what I'm going to do is if I, oh, I'm not actually going to do it now because it will close these three tabs otherwise however if you close Safari, you can quit Safari, completely close it down, shut down your Mac, do anything and the thing about pin sites is that this BBC News little pin site here will always be there whether I've shut down my Mac or whatever I've done, so that's something that that's nice to know. You know, so if you regularly visit a site, you can keep that tab there, and it uses um, less OS X resources, RAM, that sort of stuff, than having a, keeping a tab open. So that's nice instead of having to keep opening up a tab each time. You can do that, and also something to point out is when you're on a pin tab, your pin tab will always stay there. So if I click on this link this link um, will be like that and it's a nice way and if I click here it will open the link and I can just go straight back to it so if I click on the link and then I go off it and then if I go back it will go back to the original page there you go like that so that's how I can use that um, if I just go to my YouTube channel and I'm just going to put the volume up just for the demo and I'm going to play this video here and then I'm just going to show you the demo and just go onto the website and as you can see I'm going to start hearing audio which is a bit baffling so what I can do is just go up here click here and it will mute all the tabs so that's a nice handy feature if you don't know where the sound's coming from then you can obviously scan for your tabs and see which one's cut it's coming from if I right click um, so right click and over here you can see the tab that's playing the music so I can mute individual tabs if I want to that's a nice feature I can use and as you can see I've got my oh, video TV playing TV. in the background um, from here quite so that's a nice feature you can my first mute video of my tabs like that OS it's a good feature to have so that's um, something else and yeah that's pretty the much it with the OS 10 El Capitan and Safari however I do have one more thing about airplay now Apple have now added a new functionality in OS 10 El Capitan and Safari that enables you to Airplay, sorry, stream. Obviously, using Airplay to Apple T Apple TV from your Mac. Uh, video. So what this allows you to do is, it lets you stream only the video without you having to share your whole screen. So it's a very useful feature for if you want to share a video. If you're saying a teacher in a classroom, you want to share one video, not every your whole screen. Because perhaps you're working on other things while your students are watching the video, and. There is there is a limitation, however, developers will need to not developers, website builders will have to be using compat a compatible web player 
or they'll have to embed some sort of code into their web so I'm not sure exactly sure how it works but you have to be using some sort of compatible video player for this to work so it does have its limitations obviously over time it, the number of platforms it will run on will obviously improve as airplay becomes more um, advanced but yeah so that was a quick look at Safari and OS 10 El Capitan if you have any questions then please submit them as a comment below in this video if you have any other questions or a more complicated sort of request or something please email me or get in contact with me all that contact information will be up at the end of the video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video